Hey there, Tamir from FibonaciTraders.com here with the daily educational video. As promised, during 2023, especially during January, I will make more and more videos like this one so we can all become better traders and in the end become our own indicators. What I mean by that is every one of us needs to plan their own path their own strategy. We need to stop following others, whether it's paid or free services, YouTube, Discord, Facebook, Twitter. In the end, we need to become our own indicators with our own strategy. Now, have you ever had a situation where you were confident that the price of an asset that you are planning to trade short or long is going down or up according to your strategy. You enter the trade, you enter, you set up the stop loss, take profit levels only to have price barely hit your stop loss before going the same direction. This can be very frustrating because it results losing a trade and the opportunity for a profit is missed and it causes us FOMO. We start chasing the asset, whether it's crypto, forex, stocks, ETFs, it doesn't matter. Now, there is a way to reduce it from happening. Not 100%, but if we learn how to use it correctly, it will reduce significantly this case by using the ATR indicator. In this video, I will show you how I use it on any time frame, on any asset, whether it's the SPY, other ETF, QQQ, Tesla, Apple, and it doesn't matter which time frame, if it's the five minutes, the daily, or the hourly. So, without further ado, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and let's talk ATR. Since I began my full-time trading journey six years ago, I have tried so many different strategies to find where to put my stop loss and where to start taking profits. And it doesn't matter, if I want to go long or short. In this video and for this example, I chose the most common EMAs here. You can see the 8, 20, 50, 150 and 200 and have many more EMAs that many people use. Also many more indicators. This here, we have so many indicators we can use. I chose for this video, the most common ones. Now, one of the first strategies that I learned is to go long once price breaks above the ATMA. You put your stop loss just below it. You go short once price breaks below the ATMA and you put your stop just above it. Now you can do it also on the 20 EMA. You can do it on the 50, 150 or 200. It's all the same, depends on your tolerance and how much are you willing to lose on each and every trade. Now, let's take Microsoft. For example, if I go short on Microsoft, once it breaks below the 8 EMA over here or just below the 20 EMA, I go short, good. Now, threw me out just to find out two, three days later, price continuing to the downside. So, if I'm a new trader, especially new trader, where my mental psychology strength is weak and I'm not strong enough on my mental side, so I have FOMO controlling me and I start chasing Microsoft to the downside just to find out here threw me out 
and then continuing with the downside. Same goes for long. If I go long on Microsoft, I go long, let's say over here. Threw me out. Few days after, price threw me out and continuing to the upside. Now it's happening to all of us on daily basis. There are no 100% proof strategies, but we can increase our chances of avoiding these issues as much as we can. And it's, of course, all about screen time. Now, in this example, I took Microsoft on the daily. Let's take SPY on the daily, and we can see SPY on the daily reacts different to different EMAs. And SPY daily reacts different from SPY the hourly for each and every EMA. And also, if I take Tesla, the 15 minutes because I want to day trade Tesla. So which EMA am I supposed to follow as my stop loss and take profit areas? Now, it doesn't make sense that I, on every ticker that I want to trade, I need to figure out on each and every time frame of this ticker, which EMA supports better price action for long or for short. This is why Fibonacci traders, we don't use any indicators, but there is one indicator, which is not really indicator. It's more of a calculator that helps us to identify volatility on each and every ticker, on each and every time frame. And it's called the ATR, Average True Range. You go to the library, you type ATR, the first option, Average True Range. Now you have it over here. Now, Average True Range, you can find it on Google, but short, we will do it short. The explanation is every candle have high and low. So it takes high minus low, high minus low, high minus low, and the last 14 candles and makes an average. And as you can see, 14 candles. Here doesn't really matter. You can take the RMA, SMA, EMA, doesn't really matter. You can do any color you want, but the best part of this ATR that let's say if now market is open, as you can see, if now I want to go short on Tesla, let's say below the 108, 109, I know that the ATR of Tesla on the daily is approximately 10. What does it mean that the volatility on Tesla for the last 14 candles, the average is 10. So each and every day, Tesla moves around 10 points from top to bottom. So if I go short on 108 on Tesla, my stop should be 108 plus 10. This is the minimum. So the minimum should be 118 or so over here. This should be my stop loss. Same goes, let's say I want to day trade SPY on the 15 minutes. I have ATR. The volatility on the SPY on the 15 minutes is 1.65. So if I want to go short, let's say I identified this area as support. So once it breaks down the support below the three, let's say 379, my stop should be 379 plus 167 and so on and so forth. I go Microsoft and the weekly.
Why? Because this is what, this is my strategy. I'm swing trading on the weekly on Microsoft. And I can see that Microsoft on the weekly, the volatility of each and every candle, the average is 16.5 more or less. So if I want to go long or short on Microsoft, let's say I'm waiting for long position and I ad identify this one as a major resistance and I want to go long above it. So my stop should be 245 minus 16.5 should be 245 minus 16.5 and my stop should be added to 2 to 8 somewhere over here and this is how I manage my stop losses with the ATR and as you can see I don't need any other indicators because I know for each asset even if I take the Bitcoin and it doesn't matter if it's stocks forex crypto futures let's say I want to trade Bitcoin on the five minutes I'm a tra day trader crypto I take five minutes I identify this one here as a major resistance I go long above now my stop should be I know the volatility on the five minutes for Bitcoin is 1680 so my stop should be 16830 minus 1680 so I hope you find this video helpful Please hit the like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what do you think, what any other suggestions, let me know so I will know what kind of videos and what kind of information you are missing to become a better trader and to become your own indicator. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe.